Okay, so I just realized a really cool Beyblade mod. So if you take one of these little screen touch thingies and you pull this little rubber piece off, you can take an Eternal Driver. I know most of the mods I do involve Eternal Drivers. So you gotta wiggle this little piece off and you can stick the little piece on there. It's kind of hard on this one because this is the one that I mostly do mods on so it slips on kind of easier. So this is what you get pretty much. It's kind of like a little rubber driver. And, um, well, I actually haven't tried this yet because I just found it like two minutes ago. Oh, and also R.I.P. Omniodex, my little mod dead phoenix, which is a Hasbro dead phoenix with a Kiritomi metal armor on it. It broke my Omniodex. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, also something else I found is I did a cool mod with a metal fight bay. So I found my old fake um, twisted tempo performance tip, this piece, and my broken cycle driver, I put this on. And actually, I put this rubber piece, I glued this on, and then I put a bunch of glue in this rubber piece and then glued it onto here and pulled it off and I got this. So this is actually big enough that um, I can, I can put any disc from Evolution or Turbo on here and it will stay. And I put on an expand frame so it's kind of like the Garuda of metal fight so i put it on and i put this piece from twisted tempo on there and i put a face bolt from diablo nemesis without a sticker on it because it's the only face bolt i have i used to have a hades kerbex face bolt but it broke in half like it didn't break in half like that, but like the bottom piece broke off. So this is what I got. It's kind of like an attack and a stamina, or not stamina, and defense type. I don't think it's as big as Garuda, but you can see how this is kind of like the Garuda of Metal Fight. And also, you can put pretty much any frame on it except for lift and turn they just don't work so i tried out wall and it it makes the bay look like dark and it looks the combo looks even darker if you use the little thing from diablo nemesis the thing that you launch with so this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a defense type. And I'll get the Diablo Nemesis piece. Wherever I set it, I, oh, here it is. This, it's just straight black. So I take this off cause it's kind of, oh. And plus this is, this one's cracked anyway. And I have two of these. No, it wasn't it wasn't going on for a second. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a really dark bay I have my custom launcher right here for metal fight bays it's a string launcher this is how it performs
Yes, I do have a dent in the stadium. And also, now I can safely battle it with burst base because it's made out of mostly burst parts. <sighs> yeah. So, now to get to the mod that I mainly made this video for. So, for this, I'm going to be using a fake... Um, Magnum disc from a fake, um, Xeno Excalibur. I don't know where I set the lyre, but I, oh, I know. I cut it in half because I kind of wanted to, just to see what it would look like. I know you can just take out the screws, but what, where's the fun in that? I put both halves in here. Well, whatever. I'll show you the half that I know where it is. It has no metal. So I'm going to be using a fake Magnum disc, a Jet Hades. A custom driver. It actually looks pretty cool. And then it stays in the middle. <laughs> oh, it's got some, it's got kind of some knockback like Tempest Wyvron. Oh, I think it's gonna, oh, never mind. I thought it was gonna stand up. <sighs> well, that's the mod for this video. Oh, and also, here's the fake, um, Jiber, yes, I modded. I put fake friction on it, and it's so tight. It can't even fit on my custom Doom Sizer. It's so tight. So, like, I have my Hasbro Dead Phoenix that I put a fake clicks on because I can. <laughs> and plus the slopes sucked anyway so listen to how tight this is the armor comes off before you can take it out and this orbagus it has terrible slopes or clicks it's so bad but <laughs> then even this is tight. It's so tight. <laughs> so. Oh, and I haven't even tried putting it on my Takira Tomy Twin Nemesis. Because I'm kind of scared. But. I guess I'm going to show me doing it for the first time. So I'm using 8 dash on it. And for some reason, this is so tight, but I'm not using a prime spring on it. Oh, and by the way, yes, I did get it from a fake friction. Hey, it's not too bad. It's pretty tight. Now this is how tight I wish prime drivers were. The teeth don't even work with this. It's so tight. Okay. And for the moment of truth, let's see how... I'm going to show you what it does on this Doom Sizer. I put it on. Let's try spread smaller yeah it doesn't even go on but then with all the other drivers like extreme stays on just fine I really wish Hasbro 
and Takira told me would have put extreme on Doom Sizer. Cause Hunter is so small. They should have made a Doom Sizer for Turbo. I'm sad. I just had an idea. A Garuda for GT. <laughs> Or a Hades for GT. Why didn't they do anything for Turbo with Nemesis? Sorry, I'm just having ideas. It's sad that they didn't do a... Like... It's sad that they didn't do a duo layer like Surprise and S2. Like, it's sad that they didn't do... A dual layer Fafnir. That would have been so cool. But what driver would it have used? <laughs> like, is there any bouncy driver for dual layers? No. Or is there? <laughs> Imagine if, um, the. Uh, I'm just thinking, what if Octa. Or even the whole Laura Chalcom were in the anime. That would have been cool. Oh, and also I have a prediction for the blader who uses uh, materials like A3 or like that one from Takira Tomi. Ashton from Evolution, the leader of the snake pit. He probably would have used uh, materials. <laughs> Bye.